I think the cost of living crisis is, is affecting everyone in different ways from our childcare, the cost for staff, the cost for fuel to get to work or to move around the borough. I think it also is going to, it's affecting people in the choices that they're making. Unfortunately, people having to make a choice whether to, to heat or to eat. There was a, a sort of conversation nationally about how childcare is funded, um, and that's taken a, a quite a different turn over the last couple of weeks. We're looking at, um, you know, where we can have uh, more spaces in the children's centres. The anxiety and stress about it is very mm. real. The fear of what's to come is massively impacting on people's mental health and anxiety. Which is going to really push millions of people into a situation where they can't afford to heat their homes or feed their children and so potentially what we're going to see is a crisis of payday loans. We've heard a lot of parents reducing hours and yes, it had to grandparents and then their development's not great and we kept, we continued our wraparound care. We have to stop it this September because we just can't afford to continue it. Um, can't, can't afford to staff it and we can't afford to feed the children. That this is, this is high-skilled work, but we haven't delivered the training, the career paths, and, and indeed the, the high pay that goes with that high school. I think it's really important that we ensure that people whose voices are quite small are heard. It's really important for us to meet our third sector organisations. They work with children, so it's great to hear their voices and their perspectives.